Hi everyone, welcome to Imaging Study. Today we are going to see a case of complete placenta previa. A third trimester gravid patient came with lower abdominal pain and slight parvaginal bleeding. Let's see what we have got on ultrasound. Here you can see the lower quadrant of the uterus showing the placenta occupies completely the internal os. This is a site for internal os but we can't actually see quite good because the bladder was empty. But you can see the internal os is completely occupied here with the thick central part of the placenta indicating complete placenta previa. This patient definitely needs surgical approach to deliver the fetus. So this is the picture of the placenta. This is partially filled bladder area which is not quite visualized here and posterior to it this is the area of internal os and this is glimpse of cervix you can see here and the central part of the placenta completely occupies the os indicating complete placenta previa. So in summary the central part of the placenta lies over the cervical internal os indicating complete placenta previa. Now the take home message. The complete placenta previa least likely to resolve with advancing gestation if detected in early pregnancy. We usually don't want to say placenta previa before 28 or 30 or even 32 weeks of gestation depending on which guideline you follow. If we see the central part of the placenta lies over the os, it may not get changed but we have to wait up to the 28 or 30 weeks to confirm that. The placenta previa will be best demonstrated on mid sagittal images because the relationship of placenta and internals could be visualized well at that view. So try to evaluate it on mid sagittal section. Sometimes we put the transducer laterally and lateral placenta may cause confusion about the placenta previa. So check the internals in mid sagittal image for confirmation. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos. See you on the next one. Have a nice day.